Okay, so now I'm going to explain how to do Daka Tess, which a lot of speedrunners don't like this shrine. In fact, it was actually taken out of all main quests because of how frustrating this shrine can be, so if you don't get it in the beginning, don't feel bad. What you want to do is, where Link is standing right now is exactly the axis that he wants to be on the Y axis. So you're going to pull out your shield so that you only move X axis, okay? You want to move him so that his feet almost exactly bisect that design, that line on the floor. After you've done that, you can take out the shield, pull out a bomb, a square bomb, and what you want to do is right when the bomb dunks into the water, you want to detonate it. Yep. And that will throw the boulder into the hoop that it needs to go into. This section right here can be a little bit tricky. Basically your visual cue are these two lines, okay? This line and the shadow line. If you're using speed food, which I am right now, you want to be about right here when you jump off the edge and you want to jump with that trajectory, like that. Just a normal jump, no running, just a normal jump and detonate the bomb behind you. If you're not using speed food, you want to be over here because Link doesn't jump as far when he's not using speed food. So you want to jump off right here, jump, detonate the bomb, and Link should dunk underneath. So I'm using speed food. I'm going to go ahead and do it again about at this line, if not a little bit further. So, I'll do that now. And it puts me right underneath that overpass and to the end of the shrine. 